What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Chang. Um, welcome to Unit 2 of Anatomy and Physiology, Histology, Intro to Histology and Epithelial Tissues. Okay, so what is histology? Well, histology is actually the study of tissues. And then the question becomes, what are tissues? Well, tissues are cells that work together to perform a specific uh, function. So an example of this might be, for example, let's think about brain cells, okay? Brain cells, if brain cells come together to form the same function, they call it a brain tissue, okay? And then going further, if you put this brain tissue together and have them have the same function, then that's called an organ, which is essentially the brain. So when you're sick or injured, you may need to replace tissue or even an entire organ. And that's what we're gonna be talking about um, for this unit, okay? So I want you to make a prediction, okay? I'm gonna give you a second, door the explorer style. What do scientists need in order to grow new tissues and organs? So take a second and think about an answer to this in your head. Pretty good. Okay, so if you look on your notes, um, at the PowerPoint that I'm presenting right now, um, take a look at this video. It's called Replacing Body Parts. It's from Nova. Okay, this guy should be familiar. You're gonna watch the video and you'll learn about how cells are being manipulated into forming new tissues and organs. So what happens is when you're born, all of your cells are exactly the same. Okay, and as you go develop inside the womb, what happens is signals and hormones are sent, are sent so that um, these cells are given directions to turn into different types of cells. So sometimes the cells turn into um, spinal cells, sometimes they turn into brain cells, sometimes they turn into skin cells, um, whatever they need to be. And what they're trying to do right now is um, mimic that in adult cells so that when you're an adult, if you need a new organ, for example, um, they're able to get you a new one. Okay? so. Let's talk about, let's look at the components of tissue. So there are four cells, um, there are four types of tissues, okay? Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue, okay? So that's the first component of tissues. The second is the extracellular matrix, which is a network of proteins, and it provides structure and biochemical support for the surrounding cells. So um, if we think of tissue as, um, like an office building, okay? The cells, epithelial, connective, muscular, nervous, okay? Those are the different rooms um, of this office building. One might be a cafeteria, one might be a bathroom, one might be in uh, just a general meeting area. And the extracellular matrix, that would be everything else. That would be the hallways, um, that would be the elevators, um, that would be everything to help you get around the actual office. Okay, and if you take a look at this picture, so we're gonna take a peek at um, bone, okay? So if you see this, you can see the extracellular matrix. So the purple is protein. This yellow blobby thing is a growth factor, okay? This you don't really need to know. Hydroxyapatite, okay? Polysaccharide chain, which is uh, a carbohydrate, okay? Collagen, which is type of fat. So if you see here, okay? Most of the actual uh, tissue is made of extracellular matrix. Okay. And then only a small portion is made up of the actual cell. 